Do you want to come up here? Come up on the couch. Come on. Hey, everybody. I got this weird box in the mail today. It has this weird writing on it. It says Fragile. It must be Italian. I'm just kidding. Ha ha. Bella. Oh my gosh. This is uh, going to be a fun one. She still wants to play, but. I know the sun doesn't go down for like a couple more hours, but I want to get some really good sunlight coming in a little bit. And I have a fan above me or a light above me. Come on up. Yeah. Good little girl. Yes, it was yummy. Mwah. Today I got, Bella's like, okay, I'm going to play. She's just going to play in the background. Okay, no barking though. No. You want to go outside? Yeah, outside. As I was saying today, I got some of the ColourPop Disney Villain Collection. I, I, I just, I have a weakness for makeup. I was gonna hopefully only occasionally bark outside. So just, it's, it is what it is. I got a loud dog. I saw that ColourPop was going to do a Disney collection and I about lost my mind. Um, ColourPop is a very affordable makeup company. So they had six villains. I think, I think they have six villains. And you can get the entire collection for like 200 bucks. I only got three of the villains and the eyeshadow palette. So I figured I would show you guys today what I got, uh, do some swatches, and kind of let you know the prices that I did pay for everything so you can determine if it's something that, you know, you'd be interested in spending your money on. Okay, so my order form does not have how much it costs, but I do know on this whole box, it costed me like $120, but I got a couple extra things. Each little set for the villains is $25. This is the first package I got, which is Maleficent. I hope it's focusing very well because I have the camera set on manual focus because autofocus makes this weird, loud clicking noise of the camera. That's like one of the negatives of the camera. So. Um, I'll keep trying to look up and make sure that it looks good. If not, I'll have to like switch from manual to auto, from manual to auto, which is gonna be annoying. And you'll occasionally hear the clicking, but oh well. First up, that's so much clearer. I'm just gonna film this video in autofocus. It is what it is. Okay guys, are you okay with that? Because it just makes showing this so much easier. Cause it's like, oh, I see a new thing. I'm going to focus on it. And now oh, it's me, it's noticing me. I'm gonna focus on Christina. Okay, wow, this has been like seven minutes of me just going, trying to get the camera to focus. Anywho, as I was saying, there are six villains and I got three of the six. Picked some of the latest, I think the Three that I did not get were Hades, Cruella, and um, I am going to be honest, I don't know his name, but the bad guy from um, The Princess and the Frog. But I got Ursula, the Evil Queen, and Maleficent that we've already opened and I've had out for like 20 minutes, it feels like. Um, I don't know why they did this, packaged it this way, but this is how it came. Um, I guess it's like a teaser. Like, oh boy, you have one more present to open. There's Ursula. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to open this one. I'm gonna do a try on video. I did not prepare because I do not have any makeup remover right with me or honestly in my house. But I just use like face wash and wash everything off. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna have some really, really dry lips after this. And then last up is the Evil Queen. Ooh, I love all the apples on the back, like the poisonous apples. I didn't even look at the other ones. Ursula, ooh, all the angry little waves back there with her evil tentacles all up in there. That's pretty cool. And then for Maleficent, the flowers? Oh, wait. Why are there flowers? Wait. Am I getting my Disney stories mixed up? This, 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 this isn't Wizard of Oz. There are no poppies or anything. So what's up with the flowers? Did I miss something? Anyway, I didn't want to get another set um, other than the three that I got, but I did love the Cruella lipstick. So I bought that alone. 
I didn't want the the highlighter or um, the lip gloss which yes these sets come with a highlighter a lip gloss and a glow stick so hopefully I, I'm hoping I'm hoping it's all in there we'll find it in a minute they also have a Vinland's eyeshadow palette misunderstood much like myself there's um there's like some cool prints on it you see that do you see it do you see it it's like a a little seashell that represents Ursula little pop puppy paw prints that represent Cruella um I I I don't know there's other things tell me in the comments down below what all the other things mean if you can see them I got two random um, ultra satin lipsticks these are not part of what these are not part of the Disney villain collection but they were on sale I I like them yeah, I can't get the focus on them but I'll show those last those aren't why you were watching this video first up the evil queen I I ooh, this is gonna be fun I mean, I'm gonna show you guys. I am. I'm gonna, I just gotta look at it first. So, you open it up. Look how pretty. So, like I said, it comes with a highlighter, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> okay, so, lipstick. <sighs> no! The lipstick's in the top of the tube. That's not exciting. Oh man. Oh well, it's still pretty. I just need to remember to pop it down in there. I'm sure I can email them and say, hey, can you just send me another of this lipstick? Here's the tube. It has all the same designs as the eyeshadow palette that we saw. I also did not get a mirror. This is gonna be fun. Okay, hold again. Uh, so I got me a tiny little mirror. Why is everything breaking on me? My aerial popped out. I have this aerial that goes into my mirror. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> I'll glue that in later. The color is, it just says Villain's Evil Queen. So. I am not good at putting on lipstick. I have a very defined Cupid's bow, and I swear I get it out of the line all the time, no matter how long I have been wearing lipstick, so just bear with me. And it says it's matte, and I'm trying on the red lipstick first. This is not, this is not going to end well. So, matte lipsticks in general are fairly drying in my experience. Hi Bella. So just, this doesn't feel any more drying than a regular matte lipstick. Feels good to me. What do you guys think? I don't know how, how am I supposed to pose for this? Like, yeah, that's it. You agree? <laughs> so if you watch my Q&A video, you saw I started out as a beauty vlogger with like three videos. I never did lipstick try-ons. I just did like swatches. Here's here's my here's my video thumbnail. I'm kidding. No. Uh, also, the lipstick says villains on it. I'll try to. Is this gonna focus? Can you see it? And here is the gloss that comes with it. Very similar design on the outside. I like that it's silver, whereas the lipstick was against the matte black. So very nice, and this one is ultra glossy. So let's see how it looks over the red. I'm not sure if it's something you're supposed to do alone. Um, here, focus on my arm. It's pretty. So that could look kind of sheer, like yeah, just a straight up gloss. There we go. Let's see how it looks over the lipstick. I'll just look up here at the viewfinder. Ooh, makes my teeth look really white, at least in this camera. It doesn't feel sticky. Actually feels really nice and it smells really good too. I don't know what the smell is, but it doesn't it doesn't smell like chemicals or anything. So here are these two together. Um 
Now I need to like hurry and take this off before it sets because it's matte and that's, it's, 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 it's going to stay out. My face is red. <laughs> Cause I was scrubbing and scrubbing to get that off. Moving on. Last thing in the palette for the Evil Queen is her highlighter. The packaging is super cute. Okay, that's really in there. Okay, got it. I think I'm just a weakling, it's all good. Her little highlighter palette. Hi, Belle. Maybe she'll calm down now. Oh, uh, wow, that is sparkly. Here's the outside. Also the inside looks like this. And the color, ooh, that's buttery. Hold on. Look how I'm not meaning to flip you off. Mm-hmm. Bella. This is this is makeup time with Bella. But there's the color. That looks really nice. That's really pretty. That's like really gold. Really super gold. So yay, one down and it's only taking me like 30 minutes. This is uh I, I why do my videos always do this? Next up is Maleficent and her palette inside is set up the same. I guess they all are. I wonder if this lipstick is messed up too. I'll find out. It has the same packaging on the outside as the other lipstick. And here is the color. It Okay, this one's a cream. Yay! This one is just Villains Maleficent. And this one's cream. This one is a cream. So this one maybe will be a lot better. Um, I don't think I did. I didn't do a swatch of the other one on my arm. Bella! But there's that. I think that's just me. There we go. There's a better solid stroke of it. And then okay, I'm putting her outside because I can't I can't take this nose whistle. <gasps> this is becoming a very, very frustrating video to record. So I really hope you enjoy it because I'm I'm about to lose my mind. So back to lipstick and not Bella's crying nose. I'll just look in the viewfinder again. So you can see my inability to put on lipstick. Ooh, this feels really nice. It's like a, it's a nice berry color. So what do you think? Good? Pretty? Now you can see like all the close-ups of, of my imperfections on my face. It is what it is. So. Okay, so last here in Maleficent, there's a, oh, it's like silver. What is happening? Okay, hold on. Bella, Bella's just gonna say hey the whole time. Oh, that doesn't really look like anything. <laughs> it's like a purpley color. Kind of, I don't know. It, it paired with the lipstick. I'm assuming it's supposed to go together. Ooh. It gives like a nice shine. What do you think? Is it good? Voila. There it is. I feel like, I feel like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Is anybody else thinking that? Like, I want them lips. Or give me the, show me them lips. <laughs> what, what do you say? It's like the live for Rocky Horror. At the midnight double feature picture show. This is why I don't wear lip gloss. It uh, I don't care what type of lip gloss it is. It's sticky. It just, it is. I'm trying not to rub my face again. So I don't get it all over my chin, but you see my face is already red and angry. There you go. And my son's leaving me. Where are you going, son? So for Maleficent, here is her highlighter. Look how, I mean, if you guys can feel how smooth this is, this is insane. It's, um, it definitely has a more bronze than the other one for the Evil Queen. Focus! So 
that's Maleficent, Evil Queen. Maleficent, Evil Queen. Definitely more brown, definitely straight up gold, yo. And last up is Ursula. Uh, this is going to be a very dark lipstick that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull off. Um, but, boom. Look how dark that is. So yeah, we'll see what happens. What is this? It's a matte, oh my gosh, it's dark and it's a matte. This could be potentially problematic. Ugh. I'm gonna need my, my, my mirror for this. Ooh, this is probably good for like Halloween Horror Night. It looks like I have glitter in the lipstick. Yeah, there's like a, the sun went away guys. Bear with me. These are not going to be the cleanest of lip swatches, but you can get the picture. There's the Ursula lipstick. And then the very like white and sparkly lip gloss. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, it just looks sparkly. And I have so many sparkles on my lipstick from the other colors. So you can see all the sparkles from the previous lip glosses. But it's kind of cool. That's something else I don't like about lip glosses. Look, now if you put it over a lipstick, how dirty my lip, lip gloss wand is. So now I have to try and clean it off. I guess I just know I need to only use it with this color. But there's that. I feel like the rest of this video is just gonna be this dark, dark color. I feel like the more I wear it though, I'm like, I'm not hating it. Definitely like a fall color. It does feel very evil. Oh, I gotta try the Cruella one on too. Never mind. Now I gotta take this off. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun. So this is Cruella. I liked it because it's like a orangey red. And um I'm like running out of places on my arm to do things. I'll do it like an angle here. It looks pretty. Mmm. Ooh, that's bright. I love bright colors. Like, a lot, a lot. I like it. It matches my shirt. Look, it matches my flower. The Little Mermaid is my favorite, and Ariel is my favorite princess. So, even though that dark color came with the Ursula palette, I still wanted to get it. And,. I wanted like, and I still wanted to get like the entire collection even though I didn't know if I really wear the purple color. And I've already said I don't really wear the glosses that much. But I really liked this highlighter, guys. Look how cool that is. So, that's really pretty. Like I have a purplish hi uh, highlighter, so this is exciting. Next up is the Misunderstood Palette. Ooh. Misunderstood Palette. And this looks awesome. This has like pictures of all the villains. It has the names of the shadows on the back. But I'll try to do the names as I swatch them. Inside the palette, those look fun. Well, they're all shimmers. If you don't like shimmers, then you're probably not gonna like this palette. And there's really only those two colors. There's really only these two colors here that can really be like transitional colors. Maybe this one for like a smoky combined with some of the colors. I'm just gonna go from the top here and then the next row and then just work my way down. This is this is gonna be fun. You guys, this is really hard with Bella. She loves to cry and she has not stopped. And I'm running out of places to put her because if I put her outside, she cries at the door, so. My whole arm is just full of glitter. So we're gonna go from no spots to mongrel to Diablo, devious, and tragic. As you guys can see, Tragic is pretty good. Not too bad, 
Um, and then the rest, I think, are the more you like build up, like those mongrels now look really, really nice. Um, no spots. There we go. They're all very, very pigmented. I think that this palette itself is $22 for 15 eyeshadows. And plus if they're all as amazingly pigmented as the first ones are, then this is really worth it. So next up, Underworld, Panic and Pain, Forest of Thrones, Flotsam, and The Fates. Over Revenge, Sing, Jetsam. It says Facil, F A C I L E. That's not facial. Facil? I don't, I don't know. And then 101. So there is the last row. See, I have like no fallout. And I was like rummaging my fingers all up in a year. I feel like this is $22. Like if you can't get anything, but maybe like one set and then the eyeshadow palette, I would want it. Um, but eyeshadows and lipsticks are my favorite. So that's an easy sell for me. I love all the glitters. I love how pigmented the glitters are in here. I, I love it. A random extra and then we'll talk about about everything that we just looked at um but i wanted to show you my bonuses pretty much that i got ultra satin lipsticks the color chance really really pretty i love that a lot i had a feeling i was gonna like these satin colors and then i'll look at this one in a second to tell you what the color is That is really pretty. These are perfect for springtime. This corally one is be okay. <laughs> but don't those seem really springy? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, to recap, I got the ColourPop Disney Villains collection. I got the eyeshadow palette. I got three of the six collections that you can purchase. Each set came with a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a highlighter. So. For $25 for each set, I feel like that's a very good deal. Um, even if you just get the lipstick and the highlighter, I think it's about 20 bucks or something. I think it was like eight or $10 for the lipstick alone, which is why I decided I would just get the lip gloss for Cruella because I didn't really want her highlighter. I think it was very similar to the other golds that I have. If I remember correctly, I think it was a gold. I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I know there are so many videos out there that do advertise some of the ColourPop collection and you could have watched anywhere. So I really appreciate you watching here. I hope that some of it was enjoyable. I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. Um, I need a new washcloth and new arms. Like I, I feel like I'm injured. This is not good. But just as a um, extra feedback, this cream feels really, really nice. I really recommend the cream lipsticks. I'm just not a matte lipstick type of person, but that's just me. But if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below. Do you think that you're gonna buy um, some from the Disney collection? I always feel like these types of things may not be around for very long. They do have a princess collection as well that you can purchase. So uh, I will link their website down below. It's just ColourPop, C-O-L-O-U-R-P-O-P.com. But I will leave it down below if you're interested in looking at the products that they sell. Uh, they do have free shipping, I think, with like over $35 or something like that. So you don't have to spend a whole lot. And all their makeup is really affordable. And as we saw, very good quality. Like, th this pigmentation is insane. Like, I am, I can't, I can't get it off, guys. It is forever a part of me. Ah! Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of the video was. Is there a certain collection, certain set that you are thinking about getting? Like, oh my gosh, I really need that. 
where you were like me and you're like, you know what? I just want Ursula because of the Little Mermaid. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also click that subscribe button down below. I do do more uh, like Disney and theme park vlogs around Orlando. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I do other types of videos. So thank you so much for watching this one. Until next time with another helping of a burger with everything. Did you really want to be seen? You really, really wanted to be seen the whole video. You was talking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs>